guys, it's Rach. For today's makeup tutorial, I've taken inspiration from Gigi Hadid's makeup look at the MTV VMAs this year. She was definitely one of the standout looks. Her dress, her makeup, her tan, she just looked fantastic. So I thought, why not take that summer bronze golden goddess look and kind of use it to recreate a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's not exact, obviously. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, the cheekbones of a supermodel, and she was rocking an amazing tan whereas I have just been pulled out of the depths of winter and have completely different coloring to her but I've tried to get it as close as I can I have just shopped my collection and kind of picked products that I thought would work but everything that I use is highly dupable it's very simple so just pull out any of the bronzed and golden products that you happen to have in your collection and let's get started I'm going to start off by misting my face with a makeup setting spray. I find that doing this both at the start and at the end of my makeup just helps prolong its wear and it gives me that damp base that I like to start with. And I'll be hydrating the skin with the Estee Lauder Day Wear Cream. This stuff smells amazing too, I never really noticed. For foundation we want something that's quite skin like but also starting to build on that glow. So I'm going to be going in with the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. Love this one, really really nice on the skin but also gives great coverage. And I'm going to be mixing in a pump of the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base Pure Light Primer. This will help lighten because this shade is a little bit too dark for me and give us that glow that we're looking for. I'm making sure to bring this one down the neck because the colour match isn't quite perfect for me. And I'm also going in with a little bit extra and just trying to build it up on areas where I need a little bit of extra coverage. To conceal the darkness right underneath my eyes as well as any extra blemishes I have on my skin, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This one's in the shade Neutral Medium and it's definitely up there with one of my favourite concealers of the moment. It has fantastic coverage, it's really creamy and a little bit goes a long way. I'm keeping the placement of this product quite controlled because I'm going to be going in with another concealer to highlight this area later. So I just want to use this mainly for that coverage. Dark circles be gone. <laughs> now this next one is a completely superfluous step because we're going to be going in with another bronzer later but I just really wanted to test out this product because it's new to me. This is the Terracotta Spray Bronzer from Guerlain. Definitely a luxury product. Like I said, it's not 100% necessary but it is a gorgeous liquid bronzer. You can spray it directly to your face. However, I'm going to be spraying it onto a brush and just buffing it into areas where the sun would naturally hit. Gigi, like I said, had an amazing natural tan. Mine isn't there, so I'm going to build on this and try and make it look like I have a little bit of a summer glow. This product can look a little bit scary going on, especially if you apply it directly with the brush the way that I have, but once it blends into the skin, and it does blend into the skin really, really easily, it gives you that tanned look without having to spend hours in the sun, which of course can be damaging for your face. Gigi has naturally great cheekbones. I don't have those, so I'm going to fake it with a little bit of contouring. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Sculpt Powder in Medium Dark. Just popping this right at the backs of the cheekbones kind of blending it kind of around to give you that definition and shape that she has naturally that I don't have. <laughs> because one can never have too much bronzer, particularly in this makeup tutorial, I'm going to go in with my Models Prefer Soft Touch Mineral Powder. This one's in the shade Radiant Bronze. I'm going to take a small amount of this. You want to sort of use a light touch. And I'm just going to apply this kind of over where we applied that liquid bronzer. This will also set the product in place. To bring a little bit of light back to the center portion of the face, I'm going to be using my favorite Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Pale. And I'm just going to be popping this mainly in the central portions of the face where you would highlight. So the bridge of the nose, the center of the forehead, underneath the eyes a little bit, maybe a little bit in the center of the chin, a bit on the cupid's bow. But I love this product because you can build up with it and because it's such a thin formula, it doesn't cake up on your face. Just going back in with my original foundation brush just to blend everything in together. I'm so not used to seeing myself so tanned. I am usually quite pale, especially at this time of year, so... 
it's quite a shock for me looking at myself. I'll be using a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder just to keep all that product in place. Plus, if you're wearing this in summer, then you probably want to at least set the center portion of your face so it doesn't get oily or sweaty. I think I'll come back and highlight the skin later. For now, I'm going to move on to the eyes and the brows. I'm first going in with the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. This one is an old favorite of mine and I've just repurchased it. I really remember why I love it. It's such a great product. I'm not doing anything too over the top. I'm mainly sort of defining the lower part of the brow. Gigi's brows are very distinctive. She has quite an oval or an, a rounded shape to them, I guess I would say. And they weren't overly defined or filled in. So I'm just going to do a little bit just because that's my preference. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to leave them pretty much bare, then you totally can. I'm not going to do too much to the front. Brushing that product through as always. Then I'm going to set them in place and add a little bit of texture with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Kind of brushing the hairs upwards to give them a bit more of an unstructured, messy look. This look was really all about the skin and the, the bronzed glow. There wasn't a lot going on on the eyes. There was some fluttery lashes and quite a bronzed golden just wash of color all over the lid. So I'm going to start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Marie Antoinette. This is a gorgeous shimmery bronze shade, really easy to work with. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on the mobile lid. And then I'm going to use a Real Techniques base shadow brush just to blend this out and slowly work it up into the crease. Really sort of phasing it out all the way up into the brow bone. Going in with a little bit more and again repeating the same process. These have a little bit of like a golden reflect to them as well so they'll definitely catch the light, look gorgeous in photos and really add to that overall bronze goddess look that we're going for. The lower lash line wasn't overly defined from what I could tell so I'm just going to use whatever's left on my brush just to run that softly under the lower lashes for a little bit of definition but really we're not going for much. Using that same brush I'm going to go in with the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette. This one has some gorgeous bronzy golden shades. I'm going to be taking the shade Smooth Harmony which is this one here. A really pretty champagne shade. This one has almost like a gold duochrome to it so even though it looks quite champagne in the pan, when you apply it to the lid it just gives you this really gorgeous soft gold color. I'm just keeping this to the mobile part of the lid. I'm concentrating the bulk of that product right in the center of the lid so that's the brightest and most reflective. Popping just a little bit in the inner corners. I'm going to be going in with a little bit of highlighter now. This is the Smudge Stick from Stila in the shade Lionfish. It's a gorgeous bronzy shade. And you just want to run this right on the outer part of the upper lash line, just sort of blending it right into the lashes. We're really not going for much here, we just want a tiny bit of definition. I'm keeping this to the outer third of the lid and then I'm going to go in with a smudge brush and just smudge it out slightly, just softening that line. I'm also going to tight line with this one. Gigi was definitely wearing some false lashes and they were particularly long in the centre portion rather than being elongated at the end. So I've chosen the House of Lashes Siren Lashes. These ones are really nice and fluttery and they're longest in the centre of the eye, making your eyes look a little bit more rounded and open and awake. Just popping on a little bit of the E Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara to give something for the lashes to sort of stick to. Once that glue is dry, I'm just going to go back in with that smudger brush that had the leftover eyeliner on it and run that along the lash band just to make sure it's concealed as best as possible. Her lower lash lines seem to be left bare so I'm not going to add any extra mascara but as a finishing touch I am going to run a little q-tip along the lower waterline just to clear off any excess product. And I'm then going to go in with the brow highlight pencil from Sigma and I'm going to be using the gold side of this one just along my lower waterline. 
Let's finish off the rest of the face. There was definitely a lot of glow going on in this look. I'm going to be using the Laura Geller, uh, what is this? It's the Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla Portofino. Now, I'm going to be using both sides of this product. We have more of a satin finish, and then we have quite a shimmery um, golden highlight. I'm going to be taking just a soft, fluffy, tapered brush. This one is from Hakuhodo. I'm going to start off with that French Vanilla side. I'm going to pick up quite a bit of product, tap off the excess, and I'm going to run this all the way along the cheekbone, sort of up across the top of the eye. I'm going to put it above the eye. I'm also going to run this product down the center of the face, so starting off in the middle of the forehead, running down the nose, Cupid's bow and chin. And I'm going to just buff that into the skin. You really want to sort of make it one with the, the product underneath. It feels so angelic right now, so glowy. If you do have oily skin, you may want to skip sort of the center portion of the face, modify it a little bit slightly to suit you. I'm trying to make it as similar as possible, but if I was going to be wearing this all day out in the summer sun, then I probably wouldn't highlight as much because this is where you tend to get oily or get that little bit of extra natural sheen coming through on your skin, so you don't need to add so much highlighter. But for the sake of science and this tutorial, I'm going to do it. On that same brush, I'm going to take a little bit of this slightly more shimmery side, tapping off the excess, and I'm going to just concentrate this right on the tops of the cheekbones. You know what, I might even just use my finger for a more concentrated placement. So pretty. Lastly, I'm going to add a touch of colour to my cheeks. I couldn't really tell whether Gigi was wearing anything, but I just feel like this rounds off the look a little bit more. I'm going to be using a shimmery kind of coral blush. Again, it's got a little bit of gold reflex in it. This one is Shimmering Peach from Tarte. It's a cream product as well, so it's going to give us that natural look to the skin. I'm just going to pop this right sort of at the lower part of my cheekbone, sort of work it backwards a little bit. Nothing too dramatic, just a little bit of colour. Finally for lips, Gigi was wearing quite a nude lip, so I'm going to start off with this NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. I'm just going to be outlining the outer portion of my lip for a little bit of definition. Then to fill them in, I'm going to be using this Revlon Colour Burst lipstick in the shade Soft Nude. This is a gorgeous peachy nude shade. As a finishing touch, I'm just going to take a small amount of highlighter just on the center of the lip. So that completes this Gigi Hadid inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now you can just sort of slick back your hair, do a bit of teasing, maybe put on a little bit of fake tan, and you can basically look like her. Well, almost. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this look would be perfect for a summer party or some kind of outdoor event. So if you do recreate it, definitely send me a photo. I would love to see it. Other than that, I will have a list of all the products that I used in the description box below, as well as all my social media links. I'd love it if you could go follow me or come say hi to me there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. And if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye. Center of your face as well. Whoa. An old favorite of mine, this is the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Power Brow, brow Pencil. Then I'm going to set them and add a little bit of texture with the L'Oreal Paris Brow Pop. Then I'm going to set them and add a little bit of texture with the L'Oreal Brow Art. Then I'm going to set them and add a bit of texture with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Prop. Plump up, plump up, blah, blah. That is so hard to say. Plumper, brow artist, plump, plumper, brow artist, plumper. <laughs>